Okay, I'm done. Yeah, look at this. Look at this video. Look at look. look at my computer time. So you got some Teflon tape. Right, you put it on the cylinder head. Which is that right there. This is the, this is a snooper rifle, right? It, it, but it's the same thing as an AEG. They have cylinders. It's just differently shaped. Okay, I'll, sh I'll show you. Um, you see how there's the M73 and there's a little ring right here. Not here. Not this one. It's this one. Alright. Uh, basically, you stick the Permatex dielectric grease right on there. Well, that's what he doesn't do. Alright. This is what you potato heads can't fucking figure out. You're supposed to put the dielectric grease on there. It keeps the Teflon tape on there and it bakes the air seal better. There's already grease on there. It's silicone grease. Dielectric grease is better than silicone grease. It's a lot thicker. At least it should be. And then you put some dielectric grease over the Teflon tape. Some people put it under, some people put it over. You're supposed to put it under and over. Most people don't even do either of those. And you just stick it on like, dum, pum, dum. It's, it's retarded. There's, there's mod number two. Sorbethane pads. Take a look at this. You go to evike.com. You, you go and you look up scatter plot. And basically, if you have an M120 spring, basically meaning like, are you going to shoot 400 feet per second with 0.2 gram BBs, i.e. 1.5 joules, um, you're going to want uh, some of these, all right? You need a Neopad, a 1 uh, slash 32, uh, 1 divided by 32 inch uh, thick Neopad for version 2, version 3 AEG. So it has a hole right in the center. You, you see how this says version 6, and it's got a hole all the way at the bottom. This says fucking... Silent piston head, ooh, it's big ass hole, LN86, ooh, that, that hole. Well, basically, um, neoprene, it's, it's rubber. And this shit's tough. Rubber is tough as fuck. And basically, you put this over the sorbethane pad. And if you don't know where sorbethane pad goes, you see the M3, the M3? You see the thing that says M3? Well, basically, um, you, the thing, you see M32, that thing goes right in there. Um, let me show you. Right there. There's a piece of rubber thing. Basically, you cut up the M32. You cut it. Um, uh, you have to line these things up. And this right here, this thing around it is the Neopad. This is the rubber. And this thing under is the Sorbethane pad. Um, basically, you have to cut it like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Don't, it's not like a zigzag like this. It's a line like this, a line like that, 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 like that. Like a pineapple. You know, you cut a pineapple and it's cut and shit. It's going to look like a pineapple. You could do it even more. You should do it even more. It's so the glue actually sticks to it. The cyanoacrylate glue. You need cyanoacrylate because it bonds stuff like this really well. And it's also easier to remove. Yeah, I read it on the forum. That's what they said. I believe it. I, I don't think they're lying. Why the fuck would they lie about it? Nobody knows this shit. And, uh, yeah. You're supposed to stick, uh, for the 120th spring, you know, 1.5 joules, um, you should have 270 duro, whatchamacallit. What, whatchamacallit. It's a couple, just 270 duros. And, um, one of them should be one fourth of an inch thick, and the other one should be, uh, Three sixteenths of an inch thick. So basically, um, an inch is 21.5 millimeters, and you need exactly 6.7 millimeters of angle engagement correction. And basically, this thing uh, pans out to like 7.5 millimeters of angle engagement correction. Uh, if you don't understand what angle engagement is, that, that's like what the whole like sorbethane pad thing is. It's about AOE. Um, basically, uh, There we go. Um, check this out. You see how there's bad distance here and good distance here? Well, notice how the, the, the piston is out of the gearbox more. Like, it's, it's just straight up out of the gearbox a lot more on this one. Like, see how it's, it's like, look at the distance from here to here and distance from here to here. Basically, a uh, sorbethine pad pushes it back, uh, therefore pushing, you know, See, look. Look at the difference. 
see the distance between this tooth and the and the uh, the bottom of the piston, and from here to here, it, it, it's got fucking perfect ass contact and garbage contact here. Um, this will fuck your teeth up. It will fuck your teeth up if you don't have this on there good. Um, basically, you need 6.7 millimeters on there to get that thing like perfect like this 6.7 exact i measured all right i have a video on there it's uh it's airs it's called airsoft how to do teflon the compression what you call i don't know um yeah and basically this shit compresses under that spring tension this is what i've, I've tested it with it, it, it is perfect it's fucking perfect with a three sixteenths and a one fourth and a neopad perfect um angle of engagement correction for for my cma AK stock like stock cylinder head uh fucking cylinder piston uh spring spring guide stock it, it's perfect for it uh stay tuned for part two